What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. Today's episode is all about SBUS. That's right. The, I don't know, telemetry is nothing new in the RC world. We've all seen radios that give us feedback from the, the vehicle. You get battery voltage, temperature, stuff like that. But this is the first time that I've had any like hands-on experience of using it, I guess you'd say, so simply. The FlySky people have been working directly with Hobbywing to integrate SBUS, what they call SBUS2 protocol, that allows the speed control to output whatever data it normally has to share with us all through the receiver wire. There's like no extra wires or anything to hook up. It just works and it's fantastic. There was a recent update to the Axe R2 to um, make this all happen, and FlySky was nice enough to, to cater to Hobbywing, as far as I can tell. Like, there's Hobbywing logos inside the radio now, once you get this all working. It's pretty cool. Um, today, we're just going to talk about the quick and dirty about how to get that done to make this simple. Otherwise, this video would take an hour, and you'd all fall asleep. Main thing is, you have to go update your Axe to make sure it's on the 1.01.0.01.01 firmware. And then it'll work all of this. And in addition to the SBUS, it also gets some tuning features changed. The RPM is even lower than it was before. You can make the motor go so slow, it feels like a stepper motor after the update. It is very cool. So if you're into that, check it out. And then if you don't like that, you can roll, it, roll the software back too. Um, it does change some of the brake tuning. Uh, we talked about that a little bit in some other videos, but mainly there is a new smart drag brake feature that controls the drag brake rate on the fly to make it like a lot of us used to like the old auto feature. So to make it that same way, you'll set a drag or smart drag brake enabled, and then you'll turn the drag brake increase rate to like 14 or 15, and it'll be about the same. But let's talk about this radio. This is the Noble Pro. It is a feature packed radio. There's knobs that are all adjustable everywhere to do all the things. It's got this on the fly angle for the wheel. So for like ultimate ergonomics, you can do all that. It has this beautiful touch screen that's very easy to use. I have set this up already to kind of make sure everything works. And so we're gonna go through the quick and dirty about how all this sets up. So on your FlySky receiver, there are some designations to make this all happen. And you see here, you got NPA-8, NPB-7, uh, NPC, and NPD. I have my speed control connected to NPC, which is going to be the one that I assign in the radio to do all this fun stuff. So for this to all work, you take a updated, calibrated, you know, normally operating setup that drives normally in throttle channel, and you move it all around to do this. So I turn the speed control on so the receiver gets power and then we go into here now this part's going to be let me see if i can turn off some of these lights so if i turn all the lights off you can there's no glare that's pretty cool all right so to get in here now like i said this is i had set some of this up already so you can see i already have motor temperature speed control temperature voltage and i have rpm here as well so if i rev the motor up that guy moves but uh to make all that happen you go into settings then you go into rx set and you go to rx interface protocol and then you set whichever one of those you had, whether which channel you select, and like I said, I use C to iBus 2. And you can see they got all sorts of stuff going on in here. I don't know what any of that does, but we need to use SBus 2. So we back out of there. Now that's all set, we back from there, and then we go to our iBus 2 setup if we wanna do any tuning. So we'll jump into there, and you can see it already has, this, this is how it was originally. You drop that guy down and it's telling it that's a throttle channel, so it ties it to your throttle. It's smart enough to do that. Now, if you want, you can get in here and do speed control tuning, which I think is extremely cool. I can change the running mode, throttle matching, all the things that I can normally do with the app, I can do right here from the radio on the fly, like on the trail. So very, very cool. I'm gonna enjoy being able to make on the fly changes without busting out my phone, pretty neat. And then, um, the data sense, you can go in here and actually see the data output from the speed control live. So if you want to get, if you don't have anything set up on your main screen, you just hop into here and look at all that. So pretty neat stuff there. Uh, we back all the way out to the front. And then when we get to the main screen, so on the main screen, you can tap on these guys and, and adjust them. And you can you say choose sensors. And then you can go in here and then pick which one you want. And if you scroll down, you see these are the, the 
the XE run settings and then you jump inside there and then you can select from all the different speed control settings that it has available or speed control outputs that his has available. So once you find the one you want, you select it and away you go. So I have this one set up to show motor temp, speed control temp, and then my battery voltage. So those are my main areas of concern. And then just for funsies, I put this one up as RPM and let's see here, if we set this all the way up to, what is that, 10,000? Let's make it, because I don't think this motor on half charge is going to go much more than that. And we back out of there. And now when we rev it up, like even though I'm giving it full throttle, because the speed control, it's not getting to that RPM, it's only showing 98%. So you could use that as like a temperature gauge as well. If you set a minimum temperature and a maximum temperature, that thing would rise slowly over time. So there's lots of ways to use the interface, and I think... It's pretty cool. That's the quick and easy walkthrough on how to get all that working. Like this right now only works in the Axe R2. I'm excited to see this S-Bus feature come to more speed controls in the Hobbywing lineup, of course. Having that in your race car stuff to get you temperatures on the fly. You can set warnings in the radio so that it'll start to vibrate. And uh, big hats off to FlySky. Like I said, this is nothing new for a lot of companies and the interfaces between, you know, data logging and protocols for the telemetry are real tricky. And FlySky has been, from what the engineers say, awesome to work with. And this shows here and this is like click, click, click and away you go and it's working off the bat. So uh, very cool stuff here. And like I said, that update is not just for S-Bus. It does give you some enhanced tuning for the throttle matching and you get even lower RPM than what you had before. The motor does like 10 RPM now. Like it's, it's super ridiculous slow. Like here, let me see if I can, like that's, you can see the shaft just pass by barely. Let's see if I can get that in there. Look at that. Like it's moving. See that? See how slow it's going? That's very slow. So this system is going to get installed into my uh, SCX-10, the old classic clapper. If you've seen my videos before, the hard body Toyota. This is going to get that and go to Axial Fest with me. Uh, this show goes up on Tuesday. I'm going to Axial Fest tomorrow. So if you guys are going to be at Axial Fest, please stop by the booth and say hello. Uh, I miss you guys. Now, before you jump in and do all this, make sure you've watched other Axe videos and you know how to do automatic motor pairing, you know how to do firmware updates, you understand the basics of calibration and all that, because that also has to happen as well. This is just to show you the S-Bus features. We have lots of other videos on the Axe R2, the regular Axe, any of the FOC systems as well. So make sure you check those all out. There'll be a link in the description to lots of those. Don't worry. Uh, don't forget, we do have a podcast where we give away a free Hobby Wing system each and every episode, the first and third Friday of the month. It's called RC Stuff powered by Hobbywing. All you have to do to find it is look up RC Stuff on your favorite podcast service and find out how to enter to win. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, we are very easy to get a hold of. All you have to do is send us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com, and we will be happy to assist. And as always, folks, thanks for tuning in. Another episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you all next time.